here at the comedy store. I don't know what the deal is with this place. I don't know what the deal is with the comedy store. Every time I come here, I like run out of crap to say. I just, I mean, I'm funny all over town except here. I don't know what it is about the comedy store. I don't know if it's like an Irish curse. I understand why Polly Shore bombs the way he does. Is he's so close to the comedy store. It's like the more connected the comedy store you are, the worse you do. I don't know. It's just me. Maybe it's the names on the wall. You know, I don't know. I don't. Did they write them on the wall? Are they chalk? Did somebody pee on the wall? I don't know how you get your name on the wall. I don't know if there's another brick in the wall. The doors hung out here. Um, behind me is the original room, where nothing is original. Uh, behind it is the belly room, where I thought I'd be a hit because I have a belly. Not that kind. Not that kind of belly room. There's the main room. That's a good room. They've got like a little uh, coffee table in the uh, green room. You can see all the scratches. It's like a glass coffee table. You can see all the scratches from like Kinnison, you know, dicing up his Coke. And I don't mean like, you know, Coca-Cola. I mean like crazy shit. But uh, this is the comedy store. I hung out here. I gave somebody $200 to tell me I wasn't funny. And, you know, I said, hey, what do you mean I'm not funny? My last name's not sure. I have to come outside to do my set because it's California and you can't smoke inside. So I have to do my stand-up outside. And, um, you know, crazy Californians, they're always biking and jogging and running. My nose doesn't even run, okay? Talking about, I'm a vegetarian, I don't eat anything that has a mom. Well, I'll eat your mom, how about that? Uh, um, they're, uh, they're all, the vegan, it's like the fake food, okay? You get on my case for eating candy and crap, but then you eat carrots that's not made out of carrots. It's a double standard there, you tree hugging, L. Ron Hubbard jerking off. Loving clouds, kissing trees, surfboard, weed smoking, son of a bitch. Everybody's got medical marijuana around here. On Sunset Boulevard, everyone's got the medical marijuana. I got a cataract. I got this. I got that. I need medical weed. I didn't have medical weed when I was a kid. I had a mom that dragged me to church, made me drink anointing oil, which was nothing more than Crisco. So, not only was I not well, but I was in church all the time, I had a zip in the form of a cross on my head, and my cholesterol went through the roof. We had people call my house all the time, tell us we need to fast and pray. That's why I'm so fat. I ate, I, I ate like a ton of food, just so that I'd be able to save up for the next fast. Like a camel. Oh my god, we have to fast. Let's hit the salad bar. Know what I'm saying? Um, what else? Hollywood's a weird town. Everybody here, when I first moved here, I figured, you know what, this is a weird town. Everybody's foreign, gay, or black. There's no normal white guys around here. Everybody's foreign, gay, or black. And then I found out that it's every, that it's it's the foreign guys who turned out gay because they tried to be black and got pimped out. And it's, it's a crazy, crazy town. A guy like me, from like the Midwest, from the South, from the Bible Belt, it's, it's a weird, weird town. You can say whatever you want as long as it doesn't offend anybody. So pretty much it's like you can't say anything. Hollywood's a weird town. It's a weird, weird town. You can say whatever you want as long as it doesn't offend anybody. 